All right, we are back. We are back in action. He is very small, yeah. Uh, the other person in the room speaking is 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 Craig. Uh, that is Junie's son, uh, Craig, and, and they Hi, live, they live together <laughs> on one. Yeah, on East and Monroe Street. And uh, I want to thank him for all his help. He's been. Oh, has he been a lot? Of yeah, he's been. Great. I don't know what I'd do without him. Uh, he's amazing, amazing, and uh, and basically to, uh, for the for the viewer, uh, I I started talking with Junie about what over a month ago, right? Because I was interested in the it history of like of this Maldi. It seems like a long time, <laughs> but um, and uh, and uh, well, it turns out that uh, Junie has saved all her father's collection. Basically, a lot of paperwork, a lot of photos, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of awards that he won. <laughs> Uh, one of them being, uh, or, and one of the certificates, um, uh, he's the uh, uh, consul for Nicaragua, a lifetime uh, honorary consul. Yes. And, uh, but he, he, he's got a lot of honors uh, for his work with the OX5 club, right? What do they call them again? OX5. Oh, oh, oh. And that one was called the uh, Cuban the Quiet Birdman. The what? Quiet Birdman. The Quiet Birdman. The Quiet Birdman. Because they got old and I guess mm -hmm. and couldn't drink yeah. and crowds. But they were, they, yeah, the OX5 Club was, because the, the OX5 was a small five. engine. No. So, so we do know that in, in Mexico he spent time in Torreon, in Lerdo, Lerdo, in Monterrey, and I think a couple other places, but mostly those are, at least we've seen photos yeah. from those. And some other photos, we don't know where they're at, but we know he was in Nicaragua and other, other countries down there. Uh, we, there's the volume of material that is in your collection is so vast that um, I haven't had time to look through all of it. But, um, and the stuff that, I, that wasn't in there that I did look up online was a lot of the stories about your father when he was a barnstormer and he used to fly mm -hmm. with your uncle, Charles, Charles Harden. Harden. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that Charles Harden. That was when you first came. Yes, tell us a little bit about Charles Harden. Well, yeah. they were mine. My godparents, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I can't remember if we ever really went to church and they mm -hmm. became God. I don't remember. But, but he was always Uncle Charles to you and, 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 and Catherine. Catherine, yeah, yeah. Catherine is why. And we had her shoes. You saw her shoes. Oh, was that, was that? Well, they were, she had bought them because mm -hmm. Bolak's store was closing out and they, they were these I, pointy toes yes. and, and, yes. and laced all in gray, but they were both with the same foot. But she didn't care, she <laughs> bought them anyway. And uh, I still have, okay. Tell us about, tell us about Catherine. What did Catherine do? She was a, she was a wing walker mm -hmm. and a hang buyer by her knees from underneath the, from one the landing gear. The landing gear. She yeah. would hang upside down oh, from her knees. She was a mess. She was more fun. Yeah. But she was very jealous of Uncle Charles. I mean, she didn't want anybody talking and messing with Uncle Charles. Very possessive. And Uncle Charles was a parachutist. He made, they both made parachutes. Well, I didn't know that yeah. she had made yeah. it. Well, look, and, and I knew he They were a husband and wife team. Yeah. yeah, and they met up in Minnesota or someplace, but uh, but he never did learn to fly, from the way I heard. No, no, he wasn't a flyer. He, he was flew. a he was a wing walker, daredevil, parachutist, but he wasn't a flyer. Yeah. Watching. Thanks. So watching. And um. Uh, uh, but Charles was a parachutist. And you've seen the pictures that that's what you came first yeah, looking uh, for Charles Harden. Was. Well, I was interested in Harden and Malden as barnstormers because okay. I had I was looking up those barnstorming years uh, and I found the newspaper articles and I showed those to you. You yeah. had never seen them in your life before. Uh, I don't think so. Well, maybe some, well, but you, then then then, then you had you had you had because. I, I mean, you might have just forgot because your father did have a scrapbook with some of his barnstorming day memories in there, and there's a picture of him wing walking in there. There's a picture of a man wing walking, and it says Les Malden wing walking. Yeah, so I he know. tried it. I mean, but he was a flyer. He was a pilot. He was a pilot, and it was up to him to. Uncle Charles was the front man. Uncle Charles never did. He never did. Yeah, he climbed out of the front, walked on the wing, and jumped from a shoe no, or whatever he did. No, that was his wife. That was Eddie Catherine. Yeah. Well, well Charles Hart. But he, he did. See, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. I didn't know. He was just the front man that went in and set up for yeah. these air shows. Well, no, I would say that Hardin was the, was the, was the one who would have trained your Aunt Catherine. 
anything she learned would have probably come from Charles yeah. Darwin. Yeah, uh, having to do with jumping or, or, or you know, with a shoot or a wing walking or anything like that. But um, he was the one. He was the one that was instrumental in in making a parachute that could be opened. Um, uh, from a short distance from the ground, from a shorter, you know. Oh, yeah, so he made, yeah, that was a stunt yeah. parachute because people would think like, oh my God, he's going to hit the ground. Yeah. They see a parachute is falling. He would open it up and, and, you know, I don't know how many feet from and the ground. And he taught, <coughs> was it he taught to, to pack their suit? He taught Charles Lindbergh. Lindbergh, yeah, yeah, Lindbergh, the first. How to pack his shoot. Yeah. And Lindbergh also uh, asked him to teach him how to, jump with two parachutes so you would jump with a parachute and you would open yeah. it up and then float in the air and then you would release the parachute start falling to the ground again and hit another and open up another parachute yeah, I think some people are like some people I know they make up things <laughs> yeah no, it's they easy make, it's easy I see that a lot believe. I see that yeah yeah and it's it's it, it's easy to get stories mixed up